Ready to dive into the wildest roller coaster ride the NFL has ever seen? Buckle up, because we are about to unpack the craziest happening in NFL history. From jaw-dropping plays to mind-boggling comebacks, get ready to be on the edge of your seat. Let's begin. Initially, Alexander Madison hurt himself because he lost control. When other athletes developed a trend of celebrating in this way, everything got started on TikTok. However, once Alex scored on display, he demonstrated his capabilities to the team. Despite the fact that Alex wanted to act like a thought, the National Football League punished him with a $6,000 fine. This was all because he wanted to shake his ass. However, he is not the only NFL guy who is celebrating by doing things that girls do. This TikTok girl, I mean Juju Smith Schuster, had a celebration after he colored his hair every color of the rainbow. Given that he had his automobile sprayed pink and that he attended games wearing dresses, it is hard to believe that this man would do something that is considered feminine after scoring a touchdown. In front of the entire world, he actually gave birth to a stunning child. Oh, hold on in a second. That is absolutely incomprehensible. Is that his child? To be sure, he was still looking for guidance on how to bring it up. Any way you look at it, a man truly did behave as if he had just given birth. I don't even want to know what's going on between his legs, guy, and I didn't want to see what Randy Moss did either. But he showed the entire world what he did during his celebration. There was an NFL player who lost money as a result of his wild celebration. No one was interested in seeing what he was going to do, but he went ahead and did it anyway. This was all because of the fact that some Packers supporters did something wild when Rise Vikings arrived at their stadium. As the game progressed, the fans were fortunate that Randy wasn't able to participate due to an injury. However, the fans and the Packers did not allow any excuses to pass without a fight. At the beginning of the fourth quarter, the team had a marching band come out in order to make fun of Randy. I'll help you out with a sign that spelled out, Where are you at, Moss? As if he was hiding or something. And that's why he was smiling. Just look at the letters that they are holding. And my fault. I know it's difficult to see because this went back to a time when HD wasn't even a thing. As a result of the fact that he was aware of the dark truth that he was going to reveal, a few weeks later, when it was time for the NFL playoffs, his squad was scheduled to play the Packers in a wild card matchup. Randy had returned to the field this time, and he was prepared to pull off one of the most outrageous celebrations in the annals of history. Randy really gave the Packers fans more ass than I receive on live television, which isn't very difficult for me to say because I don't get any. On the other hand, it is not the issue at all. Randy's only desire was to achieve his revenge. And he certainly had to pay it back. It was reported in the public eye that Randy was given a punishment of $10,000 due to the celebration. However, some time later, he stated that the amount was slightly higher. Wait a second. 30 or 40,000? To tell you the truth, that amount of money didn't even come close to being worth it because the NFL is now beginning to celebrate him. Odell is known to engage in crazy celebrations, despite the fact that he is funny for that. There was a period when he behaved like a dog, and there was also a time when he transformed into Michael Jackson. But the game that brought him the most insanity was Call of Duty. Dude's fixation on playing Call of Duty and his tendency to have doubts about other players in the game. As a result of what he did after scoring a touchdown in a National Football League game, was he really just able to nail a self-revive like in a combat zone that perfectly? In all seriousness, he is quite good at putting people down. Odell's celebration, on the other hand, was a lot of fun in competition. Because of the way Aaron Rodgers celebrated after a touchdown, he might face a sentence of 20 years in prison. Fans had just learned that Rogers had secretly flown to other countries and consumed a substance known as ayahuasca, which is legal in those countries. This news had just caused Rogers to become highly popular. Due to the fact that it included a psychoactive ingredient known as DMT, this beverage would enable Rogers to have hallucinations. The fact that he was participating in this behavior became a significant issue because in the United States, the punishment for possession of this substance could result in a jail sentence of up to 20 years. On the other hand, Rogers said, fuck it, and carried the beverage into a National Football League game. After the touchdown, the entire squad drank ayahuasca and began to hallucinate, giving the impression that they were participating in a rite involving the use of ayahuasca. It's a barbaric act on their part. 
On the other hand, listen, not every celebration is as serious as the Stefan Diggs celebration, which transformed the NFL into the WWE. Wrestling has always been something that Stefan has been interested in. Stone Cold Steve Austin, also known as the first athlete I've ever seen allowed to get lit on live television by giving himself beer showers and chugging them, was one of the favorite wrestlers. He was also one of the favorite opponents. Due to the fact that the celebration was so memorable, Stefan adored him for it. As a result, he not only got cleats customized with Stone Cold space all over them, but he also wore them during another game. He was recently recognized by Stefan with a celebration that was completely ice cold after he scored a touchdown. On top of that, just because Stefan double fisted, he was fined $13,000 because it is evident that doing so is inappropriate. As if the cost of drinks at the stadium wasn't already extravagant enough. Nevertheless, Terry McLaren shelled out even more cash in order to transform his most outrageous celebration into diamonds. Terry was inspired by a famous scene in one of his favorite movies, Love Don't Cost a Thing. In that scene, everyone was doing a strange dance, and after watching whatever the hell that was, Terry knew precisely how he would celebrate the first touchdown of his career. This was the beginning of everything. Terry was performing the exact same dance as this other individual, and he wanted to make sure that this position was something that people would never forget. However, everyone in the room immediately recognized what it was. To create anything out of it, Terry had commissioned Zoe Frost, who is widely considered to be among the most renowned jewelers in the world. Since I'm being really honest, I had no idea how in the hell it was going to be possible until a post was published on Instagram. The individual disclosed that he had transformed Terry's post into a diamond pendant that was attached to a chain made of diamonds, and the majority of the responses were positive, with the exception of one fan who brought up an intriguing issue. I hate to be that guy, but he wore a Redskins uni in that game, he remarked. Yes, just take a look at this. They weren't even the commanders yet, and the jeweler man really placed Terry in a Washington commander jersey despite the fact that they hadn't even been given the distinction yet. Whatever the case may be, Terry must have had a deep affection for the chain since, despite the fact that it surely cost him hella bank regulations, he has been seen wearing it everywhere he goes. And goddamn, that thing is bright. However, Justin Jefferson made a party for children with the intention of making fun of those who pass away while playing Fortnite. It was during Justin's first game of his career that he became famous for this play, and he has never looked back since. And despite the fact that it was already making some waves on social media, the small dancey dancey hit was referred to as the gritty wear. As a result of his play, Justin was able to transform it into an international phenomenon. In addition to the fact that the NFL immediately began imitating it, sportsmen from other sports also started celebrating with it. The entire globe was gritty as a result of Justin's influence, and as a result, they even reached out to the person who had created the dance to ask for assistance in developing five additional variations of the celebration. Justin went so far as to inspire children all throughout the world to show their opponents some grit. The Salvation Army, in case you didn't know, is an organization that encourages donations from fans to help others overcome poverty, as well as provide food for the hungry, emergency relief for disaster survivors, clothing and shelter for people in need. Ezekiel Elliott celebrated a touchdown and became the victim of a heist, which meant that some scheme mass criminals were keeping a close eye on him and his teammates. It was evident that the kettle served a worthwhile purpose, and Zeke occasionally gave to them during games, in addition to celebrating touchdowns in them on purpose to be discovered by his teammates so that the Salvation Army might go viral and raise even more exposure. The Cowboys player's strong representation of the Salvation Army has almost become a tradition, and their festivities naturally led to a significant increase in donations to the organization. Zeke added $50,000 to his donation in celebration. You gained my respect by doing all of that. However, some of Zeke's rivals saw it as a way to get paid. Devontae Smith, who was playing for the Eagles against the Cowboys, caught a crucial touchdown and beckoned his teammates over to ask for assistance. Come on, man. You really just skimmed the cash, kicked in the door, and stole it all. The man has played Grand Theft Auto a bit too much. A player accidentally shot himself during the craziest celebration I've ever heard of, which was not only inappropriate, but also illegal. 
The most bizarre aspect is that the celebration is not what you anticipate it to be. Even when he was merely going out for drinks as he was tonight, Plaxico Burris had a firearm on him at all times because he knew that his celebrity would always have random individuals contacting him. At the time, he was a star in the NFL and he wanted to celebrate his achievement with a night out. This time, however, it turned out to be the biggest mistake of his entire life. In the aftermath of all that took place, Plax was transported to the hospital, where the medical staff inspected his leg and determined how fortunate he was to have survived the shooting with no significant injuries. By this point, the wound was the least of his concerns, because the police had been involved after he had been released from the hospital. The circumstances surrounding his firearm were widely reported in the media, and some individuals even staged sketches that made fun of his predicament. All of that transpired solely due to the fact that Plaxico was so foolish as to carry guns out in public, which was against the law in the state of New York. As a result of this, Plax's life was subjected to a thorough inquiry, and despite the fact that he was a prominent athlete, he was nevertheless given a sentence of two years in prison. Since his NFL league team, the New York Giants, immediately released him, it appeared as though his career had come to an end. After some time had passed, however, he was eventually released from jail and, to his good fortune, was given another opportunity which resulted in him signing with the Jets, which is another New York team. He was hopeful that this would help him get his career back on track and that it would be good enough to make everyone forget about his bizarre narrative. However, once he returned to the field, one of his opponents made sure that nobody would ever forgive him by making fun of his circumstance by celebrating in a rude manner. When you were playing against Plaxico in New York, you actually pulled off a touchdown and fake shot on your own. In the world of athletics, I can honestly say that is one of the most disrespectful things I've ever heard. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for joining us on this wild ride through the NFL's craziest moments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more football madness. Catch you on the next one.